Hi, Mrs. Ask. I heard this new term in one of my classes today. Uh, I've never heard of it before. The protege effect? Can you tell me what it means? Of course. The protege effect basically states that the best way to learn a new concept is to teach it to someone else. Oh, well, that sounds too good to be true. Who came up with this idea, anyhow? Well, in 1980, a German professor named John Paul Martin originally postulated the idea of learning by teaching, by implementing it in his own classroom. He forced students to teach one another concepts learned in class. After a while, it became so highly regarded that classrooms across Germany began adopting his teaching style. How in the world did this German guy come up with this? Well, the anthropological basis of his idea is related to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is a pyramid that postulates the growth stages of the human mind. It includes physiological needs, safety, love, self-esteem, and growth through self-actualization. In the pyramid, personal growth moves upward while personal regression moves downward. Successful learning, uh, preparation, communication, and teaching others are necessary for the construction and passing down of knowledge. Alright, well how do you and I fit into this protege effect? The protege effect is all about the relationship between a learner and a teacher. But a teacher and a learner certainly does not have to be just us. In fact, a learner can be anyone who receives knowledge, while a teacher can be anyone who provides it. Okay, but what's the big deal about that? Well, the best way to learn is to teach. If we can effectively teach a concept, then we must know something about it. So if we adopt these roles, then you can take what I teach you and explain it to other people, effectively making you a kind of teacher. Well, that sounds interesting, but I'm not entirely convinced yet. Have you ever heard of Betty's Brain? Nope. What is it? Well, it's a research project being done at Vanderbilt University. Basically, students teach a virtual assistant called Betty about river ecosystems. Using Betty as a teachable agent, a group of students were asked to explain concepts to her. By receiving real-time feedback about Betty's understanding of the subject, the teachers were able to alter the way that they explained the content. Another group of students also taught Betty the information, but did not receive feedback from her. A final group, the control, did not teach any information, but was taught the content in a typical classroom setting. The researchers found that those who taught information, rather than passively learning it, scored higher when tested on the content. The, student that, the students that taught also showed more enthusiasm and willingness to learn when they were asked to teach the subject. Interesting. Uh, why do you think we saw these effects? A few ideas may be that by teaching, the students were able to define gaps in their explanations and develop their reasoning processes as a result. This led to a deeper form of learning than simply listening to a teacher. Well, that makes sense. But all of these examples have been explained in educational settings. How applicable is the protege effect to other areas of learning? Believe it or not, it's happening all around us as we speak. There are informal conversations going on all the time, and each one of them you encounter seeds of the protege effect. Wait, what? Take a parent-toddler relationship, for example. If the mother was teaching her child how to walk, she will also learn from their responses, and she may perhaps change her teaching styles accordingly. Wow, I never even thought of that. Is the protege effect applicable to professional settings as well? Of course. Consider doctors who only have a limited time to inform their patients about their next steps after a regular checkup. Upon learning, patients usually ask follow-up questions, which, while you may not realize, also help the doctor learn about the needs of the patients. Oh, so in that way, doctors can update what information they relate to their patients. And that makes both parties more informed on the condition at hand. That's exactly how the protege effect is demonstrated. Now that you know how common this effect really is, Imagine all the future implications of this. I believe that from this powerful concept of students learning by teaching their peers, one day we'll definitely be able to make profound connections between cognition and language. Wait a minute. You tricked me! You used this conversation just now to teach me the protege effect. Through the protege effect? Hey, you said it, not me. For more pedagogy-related modules, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel.